Hi guys, it is Dr. Cody Dukes and we are back again for yet another video. Now you already know what to do. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. And if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Now guys, I don't know if you were paying attention this past weekend, but it was the NBA's All-Star Weekend. You know, generally a star-studded event where all of the greatest stars in America tend to show up together in one place and all of the greatest NBA players in the world show up at one place and play a game. Well, before all of that generally starts, at the beginning of All-Star Weekend, you have the Celebrity All-Star Game. And I'll be honest, I typically don't watch a Celebrity All-Star Game unless there's some particular celebrity that I happen to like a lot playing in the game. And then maybe I'll watch it to see how good they actually are at basketball or not. But generally speaking, I don't watch it. But I did happen to watch it or at least a good bit of it this past weekend. And I'll tell you something. I don't know if any of you guys know who Miles Garrett is. He's a, a NFL star defensive end who plays for the Cleveland Browns. And uh, he's really good at football. Like, you know, he's a freak of a human being, you know, about 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, I don't know, maybe 250 all muscle. And, you know, I, you know, generally see fear in the quarterback's eyes when he's coming after them. But when you see him coming down the middle of the court, it's probably even more scary. And to imagine that this freak of a human being jumps out of the gym and does spectacular dunks is almost like, you know, unbelievable. Like no human being that big should be jumping that high, right? Should be that explosive. But this guy. To see him be so great at football and then to turn around and see him on a basketball court and do some of the athletic things he's able to do, it reminds me of this concept that is probably very important for you to understand as it relates to your success and your greatness. And that is this. It's simply that greatness often translates. A lot of things don't translate. A lot of skills may not translate across all arenas, but greatness translates no matter what you do no matter where you might find yourself in life what area or even what uh what you might be trying to do at the time but if you are great it generally translates no matter what you do for example look at somebody like michael jordan who tried to go play baseball he was he conquered being the best player in the nba and he wanted to go play baseball when his dad died and if you ever watched the documentary on this, I think it was a 30 for 30. There is uh, a point where I want to say it was one of the coaches for the baseball team basically says uh, he wasn't there yet. But when he decided to go back to play basketball, but had he just stayed at it based on the trajectory he was on, the amount of practice and work he was putting in and how he was progressing, he would have definitely made it to the major league baseball he would have his greatness was translating look at Kobe Bryant who was one of the best players to ever play basketball regardless of the era he played in and the moment he retires he turns around he wins an Oscar in a complete you know award for being the best in a completely different field why because greatness translates and if you are wanting to be great or if you uh, see somebody and you think they might be great you just all you have to do to know for sure is look at the other areas of their life look at the other areas of your life yeah they're great at their job but how's their home life how are their relationships with their wives or their husbands how are they doing with their finances how are they doing with the properties that they own the how are they as a parent it's the greatness translating because if they're truly great, you'll see that they put the same type of effort into being into whatever it is that you tend to <laughs> admire them for. They'll put that same type of effort into every other area of their life in order to be great. So that's the message, guys. That's the video. If you haven't already, I just ask that you like the video. It won't hurt you. It won't cost you anything, but it'll help me. <laughs> And if you're not already, guys, I ask that you subscribe to the channel. Why? Because I'm uploading five videos a week. That is one every single weekday. I do motivational and inspirational content with a pop culture twist. I look at things like sports and movies, anime, superheroes, cartoons, you name it. I just try to find a motivational message that I can deliver to you in a way that's easy to understand so that you can take it and use it in your daily life so that you can be successful. If that sounds like what you're trying to do, then you should definitely subscribe because this is the channel for you.
Guys, how did I do? Let me know down in the comments. Give me feedback and tips on how I can get better. Give me suggestions on topics I should cover in the future. I'll do my best to go through every single one and get back to every single comment. Guys, I thank you for sticking around this long and I thank you for all the support. And the only thing I ask is that you keep coming back because I'll keep coming back with more videos just like this one. And as I always say, guys, until next time, peace.